Welcome to the GE Video Academy. This video will explain the features of the licensed narrowband radio, as well as configuration examples using the command line and the web UI. The licensed narrowband radio, also known as the LN radio, functions as a point-to-multipoint system available at frequencies for worldwide options. On the web interface of the AP radio, the LN radio section under the status tab will display the interface statistics, as well as connected remotes and endpoints if the radio is an AP. Under the Basic Config tab, open up the LN radio section to view the basic set of radio parameters. By default, the radio is configured as a remote. The network name should be changed to distinguish individual LN networks from each other. Data compression and header compression are enabled by default. It is recommended to keep these features enabled in order to maximize the over-the-air bandwidth. This radio outputs up to 10 watts, and its power can be configured from 20 dBm to 40 dBm. The transmit and receive frequencies must be configured for the radio to run. The specific range of frequencies will be dependent on country restrictions. Also limited by country restrictions is the channel field, which controls the channel bandwidth and the symbol rate of the radio. This field is available in different rates to meet the desired needs in the field. Along with the modulation parameter, the theoretical over-the-air rate can be determined. The radio supports QPSK, 16QAM, and 64QAM modulations, as well as automatic modulation, which adaptably selects the modulation the radio should use on a per-transmission basis. Radios in a network can be configured as either static or automatic modulation in the downstream, which is configured on the AP radio, or upstream, which is configured on the remote radio. Radios that are configured with a fixed modulation must be within what the over-the-air connection can support, otherwise no data will flow. It is recommended to be an automatic modulation for most applications. FEC, or Forward Error Correction, is an advanced feature that will assist in weak over-the-air connections in a redundant data fashion to provide the best chance at data being received without causing additional overhead in the radio link. Please note that the FEC should be set the same on both the AP and remote radios. Finally, the user has the option to enable over-the-air security on the radios. The user can choose either PSK mode with a passphrase and AES encryption or EAP TLS certificate-based authentication. All security configurations must be the same on the AP and remote radios. Back at the top of the page, click on Advanced Config and then open up the first section. Please note that the AP's web interface contains more options that can be configured than a remote radio. Data retries, packet TTL, and the age out times can be configured to control the behavior of the data and the over the air link connection. On the AP, the allowed retransmit option will allow the AP to retransmit traffic from one remote to another. ARP cache, when enabled, will allow the radio to respond to ARP requests, but not forward the ARPs to the intended device similar to an ARP proxy. The last two parameters are the thresholds for QAM16 and QAM64. These items will only be applicable when the radio is in automatic modulation mode. When the average RSSI drops below or becomes better than the configured threshold, the radio will operate in that modulation. To configure the bandwidth and the modulation to a specific rate, use the following chart. In the following example, the LN, AP, and remote radio will be sent to a channel bandwidth of 12.5 kHz at 9.6 kilosymbols per second, but the AP radio will remain with automatic modulation, while the remote radio will be configured with QPSK modulation to achieve a theoretical 19.2 bits per second over the air rate. For already deployed systems, change the remote radio's configuration first. The LN radio can be configured through the command line via SSH, serial, and USB, or using the web proxy to get to the web interface. This example will be shown via the command line interface. Connect to the remote radio, and then log in as admin. Enter configuration mode by typing the command, configure, and then pressing enter. To set parameters on the LN interface, start by typing set interfaces interface LN radio LN dash config, and then the tab button. To set the modulation to QPSK, enter the command modulation QPSK and then the tab button. Next, to set the bandwidth to the desired upstream value of 19200 bits per second, 
type the command channel and then click the tab button. Enter 12.5 KHZ dash 9.6 KSPS then followed by the enter key. To send the commands to the radio, enter the command commit. At this time, the remote radio may disconnect the over-the-air management connection. This is expected. Next, to configure the AP to the same RF channel to communicate with the remote, we will use the web interface. Open up a web browser and log into the radio as admin. On the left-hand side of the web interface, click on Interfaces, and then click on LN Radio. Once the page loads, click on the Basic Config tab. Under the LN Radio section, locate the parameter labeled Channel. Use the drop-down arrow and select the appropriate bandwidth. If the modulation has been changed from Automatic, which is the default, then use the drop-down and select Automatic. To save the changes to the radio, click on the green Save button at the top of the page. Click the OK button on the pop-up that appears. Now that the changes have been saved, the remote radio should be associated to the AP radio. Click on the Status tab and then expand the LN Radio section. Under the Connected Remote section, verify that the remote is associated.